Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Luland Eagle Sports Broadcast. Uh, today's August uh, 13th, 2023. Just finished up an interview with uh, Brant Friedman of the Texas State Athletics. Uh, if you missed it, go out there and check it out, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, just a preview of the upcoming season uh, I've talked to Brant about. So, uh, again, uh, go check that out if you didn't get to check it out live a little while ago. So now I have here with me uh, – they didn't get to make it yesterday because they were a little busy with pictures and such, but – these are the assistant coaches for the 2023-2024 uh, academic year. Uh, let's see, we have Kayla Magian is over here. We have uh, Coach Ben Coleman over here. We have Coach Matthew Moreno here. We have Coach Aaron Bermudez right here. And then we have Nick. Nick, what was your last name? Nick Torres. Nick Torres. Yes. And then uh, Montez. Montrez. Oh, Montrez, I'm sorry. Montrez. See, I knew I was going to mess it up. Sorry about that. So, Montrez, your last name, Montrez? Smith. Smith, okay. So uh, these are the new coaches, or a couple of them new, but uh, all the coaches, assistant coaches for 2023-2024. So guys, welcome to Lulee Eagle Sports Broadcast. Glad to have all of you on. And we do have Brad Wright back there. You can't see him in the shot, but he's back there. Uh, so he's going to, you know, if he wants to chime in, you might hear his voice. You probably won't get to see him, but you've seen him before. Y'all know what he looks like. So I don't think it's that important. So anyway, uh, guys, uh, thank y'all for being here. Uh, I guess the first question I have for y'all is uh, – how have the guys looked so far? And I know y'all been practicing in this 195 degree heat for a couple of weeks now. So how have the guys looked? And then, of course, y'all had a scrimmage the other day as well. And I did talk to the coaches that were here yesterday, Coach Langford, uh, Coach Sulak, and uh, one other. We had, uh, who was it? Coach Sulak, uh, Coach Langford, Yuck. and Coach Yock. That's who it was. Uh, the other one. I'm trying to remember the other ones. Sorry, Coach Yock. I'm sorry. I'm just – uh, you know, when you get past 50, you know, I'm already past 50, the, the mind goes sometimes. So, anyway, well, how, how does, how's the team look so far? Uh, you know, uh, let's just say JV and varsity. We'll start start with varsity. So, whichever one of y'all is kind of over varsity. Uh, we, uh, we've looked good in practice. Uh, we're young. We lost a lot of experience from last season. But we've got guys stepping up and filling in in all the key roles. Our O-line is young, but they're, uh, they play hard and they're coachable. Our skill guys are kind of some of them, you know, are bringing back some good experience from the past few seasons. Uh, and then we've got some young guys at some spots there, too. But they're all really coachable, playing hard. As far as uh, the scrimmage at Poth, you know, uh, Poth went to state last year and uh, ranked like fifth in 3A D2. But we went and played really hard against them, executed some good stuff. Uh, definitely didn't back down, did some good things. So we, we feel good about where we're at right now. Right. And the uh, junior varsity, how the junior varsity look? Junior varsity, it's a, another young squad. A lot of it's freshman field for sure. Um, and we got a lot of learning to do. A couple of couple the guys on that squad, it's the first time ever playing football. Oh, so wow. Just okay. teaching them the X's and O's of the game and, you know, the strategies and why we do things the way we do it. It's, it's going to be fun and interesting here for sure. All right. So uh, for Nick and for Montres and y'all are the two newbies around here, uh, what brought y'all to Luli? And why, why was it that you felt like you had to work with this particular staff, these guys that are already here, and then Coach Langford, Coach Jock, and uh, Coach Sula? Um, I, I came actually from San Marcos. So, uh, yeah, just their experience and being around them. Actually, even so far, uh, they've already taught me so much. So. Uh, I know Coach Langford is a great coach as well, so learning under him, especially on the defensive side of the ball, is amazing. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, another reason why I wanted to come as well. So, yes, sir. And Montrez? I just graduated college. Um, <laughs> so I put my applications out there. Lulin gave me a call and coming out here, um, meeting Coach Langford and some of the staff, it just felt pretty pretty good and chemistry was there and already as I already like day seven here and I have no regrets coming here. So well, I just threw my other fish in that up. And uh, exactly. There's some places to fish around here. No, you got no problem with that. So uh, but, uh, Nick mentioned he came from San Marcos. So where, where's your background? Where did you come from? Like where, where's your high school and college? If you don't, if, if you don't mind asking you. <laughs> oh, you're talking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, sir. So TLU played there all five years, um, all conference, and then just all the other accolades of that. Uh, wow. I'm from uh, San Antonio, graduated from Shirts Clemens, grew up in the Converse area. So I'm a really just a big city boy coming. <laughs> small, small country town, town right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm 
I'm loving it out here. Been to every single restaurant. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's important. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Hey, we, we, uh, Lulu appreciates the business. I know that, uh, that money coming into the economy like that. That's so, uh, yeah, so uh, just great to have you all here. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm sure you guys, like you said, you, you go to all the restaurants and such. And, uh, Brad, you got anything you want to ask them? Uh, yeah, guys, just kind of looking over the schedule. Is there that one game on the schedule you're looking forward to? Maybe a payback from last year or just maybe an old high school rivalry or old coach you'd like to kind of get after a little bit? Or uh, not trying to fall into that. <laughs> 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 I, I think we know about that yeah. last year. Um, I, it, it's just going to be interesting across the board the whole season. I think, like, last year we hung around with a lot of guys who maybe didn't think we could hang around with them. Like, we played hard kind of like made them a little bit angry. It's like, we're going to come and play. Like, that's just what we're going to do. We're going to show that, you know, we belong to be on this field. Like, we, we play the same game you love. Like, that's it. Point blank period. Like, we're, we're going to come. We're going to we're gonna try to execute. And we're just going to compete. Like, that, that's that's what building football is about. It's just competing. And that's what we're trying to teach these kids. And instead these kids, like, you compete in the game of football, you're going to compete in the game of life. And you're going to be all right. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, I guess what I'll ask, because I think I did ask uh, Coach Langford and uh, and the crew this yesterday. Uh, right now, as of today, of course, the season, like I said, just started. Y'all only had one scrimmage. But who has stood out to y'all so far, whether it be on junior varsity or varsity? And then let's forward a little bit to the end of the season, end of the regular season, because uh, like I said yesterday, and Coach Langford said, if the team does not make the playoffs, it's going to be considered a very disappointing year. So I'm going to say at the end of the regular season, who do you see as making an impact? You know, like I said, both right now, who do you see so far? And then toward the end of the season, who do you see having – you can look back and say, that guy, I thought that guy would do well, and he did – he met or even exceeded my expectations. Uh, somebody that I, we've got guys from last year that made an impact and they're making an impact again already this year, but somebody that really stepped up over the summer and already is making a big impact that, uh, more so than last year is Hunter Boyd. Uh, he's kind of like holding down the tight end position. He really developed all summer and, uh, came to a lot of workouts and changed his body and put on more muscle and, you know, more power and stuff like that. So he's holding down the tight end position and at defensive end, he, you know, like wrecked shop at both and he really made an impact defensively. So, you know, compared to the past few seasons, he has come a long way in his development. And so I, I think we're going to really lean on him a lot on both sides of the ball uh, and like his senior leadership and his production. And uh, like I said, that, uh, now, but then, like, at the end, do you see anyone, like, maybe it's working right now that maybe, like y'all said, some are new, some have never, like when Aaron mentioned, someone that never played football before, that maybe some of those will emerge as uh, being the key parts of the team? Yeah. Anybody on the O-line? I have, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> uh, like, like the coaches have said earlier, we have a lot of young, uh, new faces here in high school, a lot of freshmen. Um it's a double-edged sword, like like Coach Ramirez has said, that we have lost a lot of experience. But um, we've also gained a lot of young, bright minds that we can mold. And uh, my two that are sticking out to me right now uh, on the line are Lorenzo and Jose Almanza. Lorenzo is a natural leader. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. He'll, he'll communicate <laughs> with the whole line. And Jose Almanza is incredibly coachable. And if I had a line full of Jose Almanza's, man, it would be crazy. But those guys are really looking good. Oh, great. So, uh, and then I did ask Coach Langford, I know I asked them this uh, yesterday and in, in the crew, uh, the road trips that y'all are going to be making here in 2023 season, is there any that y'all are really looking forward to going to? And if there is, why would that be? Like going up to England, I'm going to go visit the Kirkville area. Every other weekend, basically. Uh, I don't mind that drive. Some people are probably dreading it, but I like the uh, country. It's beautiful. I was going to say Ingram, too, but I haven't <laughs> been to Ingram since I played football in high school here. So it'll be a nice change to see what it looks like now. Has uh, it changed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, me as one, I'm, no, not one of the coaches, but I'm kind of looking forward to uh, Austin East side. I think we're playing them at House Park, and it's just yeah. kind of one of those 
historic stadiums you always hear about being downtown Austin. It's just kind of a, a neat landscape cool there. For the kids and cool for the coaches. You know, we've already got the Mark Alamo Stadium off a couple years ago. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we didn't. Hopefully, we don't. Yeah, we don't like it there very much. Very well. they, they, they didn't treat the media the media members very well. <laughs> we 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 left a lot of sweat in that little box they put us in. So anyway, uh, I guess. Uh, that's probably really all I have for y'all. I mean, uh, you y'all kind of talked about the games that are, you know, coming up, you know, into the future that are going to be important, you know, and that you're looking forward to the road trips you're looking forward to. Uh, Brad, do you have anything else you want to ask? Uh, just what are your other coaching assignments throughout the year? I know Coach Common heads up our boys basketball program. Just so everybody knows where to where to find you throughout the rest of the school year. I'll actually be I'll be coaching freshman basketball as well. All so, right. so yeah. I'll be coaching at seventh grade girls basketball and on track. So I'm coaching. I'll be coaching junior high boys basketball, and I'll be helping coach the lad with the girls basketball program this year as their assistant. Uh, and I'll be doing. I'll be helping out with both junior high and high school track. I'll be with uh, baseball with Coach Lena. Uh, I'll be doing football. And after that, I'm moving down to the junior high girls eighth grade basketball, and then uh, and powerlifting, and I'll be helping out with track again this year. And since we don't get to ask you about it so much, Caleb, since you just brought it up, uh, the powerlifting. I mean, I know they uh, you had a highly successful season uh, in 2022, and so how are you looking at things for this year? I mean, how's everything? Uh, I know I'm sure y'all you still do a little working out here and there, even though, like you said, you're in the middle of football season right now. But uh, how's everything looking, uh, you know, as far as for this year? Well, uh, just like we had said earlier, we lost some uh, lost some seniors last year, and uh, especially the ones from the state like Chop and uh, Vicky. But we have a lot of young faces again that came up. Uh, they're freshmen that I'm really looking forward to working with. Um, we got, we're getting some new suits ordered this year. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this season. Uh, some of the workouts were changing. Um, I, th I think we're going to have a pretty pretty successful season this year, especially if we have the ones who are returning uh, to come powerlift, like Brandon, like Jocelyn, like Kimberly, and even some of the freshmen who I see. I'm recruiting right now. Whenever we're down there, getting water on the sidelines. Like, hey, you know, you look like a powerlift. So I'm very excited about this year. I can tell. Okay, so I definitely want to ask because, like I said, that's one of the things you know you can't just really broadcast. <laughs> not right, right? We can't just broadcast powerlifting on the LESB. But uh, but yeah, we could. We may we may have to look at that sometimes. See if we can figure out how exactly we can do something like that. But uh, you know, definitely uh, uh, excited to have all you guys back. You know, it's that time of year. So, you know, it's the down the yeah, like Christmas. I hear I keep hearing that word Christmas uh, about a lot of different things. And I, that's what I call it too here. Christmas, you know. Uh, uh, so, y'all got a scrimmage upcoming this week. So, uh, why don't y'all preview that a little bit while y'all are here? Uh, what do y'all think Hempstead's going to bring to the table here when they come here to Eagle Memorial Stadium and Eagle Field here, uh, right here in front of us? And uh, just what do you, how do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to go well. I think Coach Langford referred to it as they're going to bring a lot of cat daddies. <laughs> I think that's yeah. what he said. Yes, um, sir. <laughs> and he's not wrong. Man. Like, they're going to bring some athletes for sure that's going to match our speed. So it's, I think that Friday we'll get to see what speed on speed looks like for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so we'll get a good preview of that. Like both gave us a good preview of like, okay, how are we going to match up against some strength? Yep. They have some big dudes. <laughs> but I feel like Hempstead, it's, 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 it's a speed versus speed match. And who's just going to execute the fastest, the most successful. So, yeah. So I guess that goes probably uh, Aaron for Var uh, JV and varsity as well. Oh, for okay, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So great. So, of course, you know, these guys will all be out here Friday. Uh, it'll be, what, August the uh, 9th? Was it the kind of, – today's the 13th. So it'll be, I guess, the 18th, August 18th. So uh, it'll be here, I believe, the JV is going to start at 6th. Correct. Yes. Six somewhere in there, and then I believe the varsity's gonna start after that at seven. So uh, if y'all are out there and you're in the area, come on out. The, the scrimmage. I don't think they're gonna charge admission for the scrimmage, as far as I know, they won't. Uh, of course, the next week uh, we open here uh, Eagle Memorial Stadium also with Rice Consolidated, and y'all were talking about those. Uh, I think Brad mentioned earlier those revenge games. Uh, they, last Coach Langford mentioned yesterday when he was here, they are gonna come. <laughs> 
looking for some revenge on us here and on this field. So, cause they, they remember what happened on their field last year. So uh, kind of talk a little bit about that too. Uh, y- y'all see rice coming in here hungry, like he mentioned and trying to steal a victory here at uh, Eagle Memorial Stadium. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. We, I think it was kind of a little bit unexpected, at least on their part, what we were going to do last year, but I know we believed in ourselves in that first game and we just executed it and got it done. But uh, yeah, I mean, for sure you want to win the game. So they're, they're not going to make that far drive just to, <laughs> just to lie over. But uh, I think right now, honestly, like as coaches and players, we just need to worry about Hempstead, worry about these next few practices, just keep getting better, better than we did against Poth, against Hempstead. And as long as we can do that, we'll uh, we'll be in a good spot against Rice. Okay. Brad, you got anything else? Uh, no, nothing else? looking forward to yeah, it. Just, yeah, we're looking forward to getting the season started again. Uh, Kayla Magianes, Ben Kalman, Matthew Moreno, Aaron Bermudez, Nick Torres, and Montrez Smith. I got it right. I'm, 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 I got it. Hey, it, it'll come to me eventually. I'll have it. I'll just, it'll be perfect here in a couple of months. So anyway, so thank all, thanks to all you guys for joining us here. Uh, Brad Wright and myself. On of course, there's a couple of other of, other of us. Uh, Greg Tracy, y'all have an opportunity to meet him, and uh, Logan Pettis. They're the other two members of our uh, broadcast group. Of course, uh, Greg's wife Stephanie Tracy does the camera for us. So uh, we'll make sure that we introduce them to all the y'all uh, as y'all are out and about going forward. But uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and let y'all go. Thank y'all for taking part in your Sunday afternoon to come out and hang out here with us on LESB, and uh, good luck to y'all this season. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much.